What up guys? Welcome so, to another great day at the Food Navigator's Kitchen. Today's a special day because why? Tell them, Devin. We're cooking steak. Oh yeah, one of our favorite foods of all time. Good old American steak. Uh, but you know what? Today, Devin is going to lead the process. He wants to show us his version of steak. And he's been watching a lot of uh, YouTube channels uh, on steak. So he's concocted his own special recipe. For us to cook steak, we need to go get some steak. So where are we going, guys? Costco. Costco. All right, we're going to head over to Costco and uh, check out the butcher shop and see what kind of meat Devin picks up. What are you looking to find today in Costco, Devin? Maybe like a two inch ribeye or something. Two inch? You mean two inch thick? Yeah. Or maybe a one and a half inch. Oh my gosh. So you're going to pick out exactly what kind of meat you want, right? Yep. Guys, we found the ribeye section. Oh um, my gosh. Now I'm just distinguishing which one has the best cap. Really? Because this is the eye. Like, ribeye? Like this is the eye of it and this is the cap. The cap is the better part. The yeah. part? Yeah. The cap is the better part of the ribeye. So I'm looking which has a more marbled fat. Oh wow, look at that marbling. Yeah. Look at this one. Wow. That one's pretty good. I'm looking for a good one because when you're ordering like this, you want to find the best one. Hmm. Kind of looks like this one should be our best one. Right here. That's the perfect. Let's take a look. Look at it. Wow. It like right. Our last chain of plans is this prime ribeye. Look at the marble. Wow. Okay. I'm debating whether this one or this one. You don't touch it. I think we should go with. Uh, I'm trying to think. This one. This one has the better marbling. Okay, let's go. Is that it? We're back from Costco and uh, after taking a look at different types of cuts of meat, Dan, what did you end up settling with? Dead. We got some three beautiful prime ribeyes. Prime ribeye. So at yeah. first you were like looking at like... Uh, Choice. Choice? Uh, yeah, New York choice trip. Cut. Yeah. And then we found the ribeye and then we found the prime. Oh, oh my god. god, we just got Disaster. upgraded. And look how thick this is. This is what? Maybe three inches. No, two I say half. I think I say it's two inches. Two. Two yeah. inches thick. Mm -hmm. And uh, each one is like how many pounds? Half a pound or something? Like oh, yeah. one a, pound. One pound? A pound of meat. Like Alright, so take us through the process of the whole prep. All right. Devin's way of cooking. Devin's way. Ribeye. Yeah, okay. Let's go. So first, get all your steaks onto a board. Yeah. Or whatever you have. Yep. Get your salt. It doesn't have to be in a bowl, but just so we don't use germs from the salt. Okay. Thing. All right, and you just want to get some salt over Whoa. Whoa. all of these. Oh, man, that's a lot of salt. Of meat. The meat, the meat. Do you really need that much salt? I mean, yes. Or not really, you could, you don't even have to do this. This is just to oh, get that. Oh, are you massaging the meat? It's just spreading out the salt you need. And make sure it has a nice crust. Devin, is that going to be too salty? No, because then when we're finished with this, we don't have to season the steak after. Because the salt penetrates into the meat very deep. Oh, so you Gupa need chips. that much salt so you can penetrate the meat? Yeah, so Sweet. you can penetrate Damn, did you learn that from Guka? Who's Guka? Easy Foods. Who's Easy Foods? Google Foods. Oh. Right. Guys, I've never seen ribeye with so much salt. This is really uh, Devin's We might get like some way. sort of like cardiac arrest after this. Seriously. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, me too. Kaden, I'm scared. Maybe when it's done, it'll look less. Maybe you guys won't be scared. Maybe you guys won't be pathetic and scared of cuts of meat and salt. Okay. No, but look. No, 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 okay. It's not even meat. Okay, it's we, okay. It'll give it a deep red color and not this like grayish color once good. we're finished. Oh my gosh. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Now follow me. We're going to the garage. The garage? 
Yes. I just put this in the outside fridge because I find it more convenient. So, move these water bottles to the side. And boom, it fits. Goodbye. So, uh, we went outside to the fridge yep. and put it in, and now we have to wait nine hours for the salt to penetrate. Nine hours nine? before yeah. we can actually eat a steak? Yeah. Okay, so tell us why we need to wait nine hours. Because when it penetrates the meat, it yeah. makes it like a deep red color, and then when it sears, it gives it a better crust. Oh, a better crust. okay. So I guess we are going to wait nine hours, which basically means we're gonna to have to see you tomorrow mm -hmm. uh, when the steak is all ready. So that's it for now. Mm -hmm. We'll see you tomorrow. See, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow. Day two, everybody. The steaks have been dry brined. Here are all our stuff to get ready to cook the steaks. We have our oil, our pepper, our compound butter, our stove, our pan, what about our plates, the plating, and the murder knife. The mur All right, let's go get the steaks, guys. So we brought it out, and you could see like the color change on the parts we put the steak. Oh Look my at this god! Part comparison. That's the part we didn't put the steak. Okay, so yesterday, yesterday it was red, and yeah. then now it's like, it's like brown, brown. Yeah. like it dark is. brown, it's like dark red brown. It's Wow, I've never seen that before, guys. It, the magic dry, of salt. Dry. A nice. Salt. All right, so tell us what we're gonna do now. All right, first we're gonna put a tiny bit of oil on all of them. Just a touch. And no, that oil didn't touch the meat. If you guys are wondering. All right. Uh, here. What kind of oil did you use? Is just, just some corn oil. Corn you can vegetable use any oil? oil. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh my. I need some more oil, kind of. Are you, are you massaging the meat? No, we're, we're putting oil so the seasoning sticks. Oh. Do you even need to salt it since you already put salt? Uh, oh my gosh. This, honestly, guys, this looks like it's been... The marbling been, on it, bro. This looks like it's been... Dry aged. Dry aged for like and weeks. And it looks like, yeah, like for like a million years. And then when it tastes, it's going to be so delicious. So next, I'm going to get pepper. Oh, look at that. Pepper, fresh air, pepper. But you want it to make it freshly ground. Freshly ground. Freshly ground. Pepper. And just trim off a small piece of the fat. Oh, okay. <gasps> I have an idea what you're doing. Small, tiny idea. So you are. Tiny bit. It should be frozen fat because uh -huh. you left it in the fridge, so it's uh -huh. really hard. I mean, really easy. Uh huh. Cut through, kind of like butter. See, look at that. Are you oh. sure that's the way to be using the knife? No, it's just that this fat is at a weird angle. So. Oh, okay. It's okay so if it has a tiny bit of meat on it. But now... Crank it on. You so sussy. Oh my god, disaster. And guys, make sure to wash your hands. I've been just uh, putting the fat all around, and as you can see... Oh my... It cooks it. It's smoking. Gosh, it's a Google tip of to put your steak on. Go. Oh! Yeah, you want to hear that. Oh, so normally, right, with this pan, you want the pan generally to be very, very hot. Yeah. All right, come over here, come right? Over here. Just smell it. I can smell it. No, just come over here. Oh my oh god. Oh my goodness. Very beefy, very intense. All right, so Devin, what's going on here? So right now, we're just giving the steak a nice sear. Uh-huh. You want to leave it for about two minutes. On what about these other two? We're gonna cook those after, but mainly focusing on this, and then these are just gonna be after. So I'm okay. showcasing you. I got your plate ready. Okay, so ready to put your steak after. Yeah. Oh, also. Yeah. Spoon. You might be wondering why. I'll just teach you. Later. Okay, later. Yeah. The surprise. Okay, so. I'm gonna check on it. How long okay. has it been? Mm hmm. Crust. Maybe tiny bit more. Okay. So usually, do you have like a, a time frame for people to, to like, hey, leave the steak on the pan for X amount of minutes? There it goes. Whoops. We flipped it and look at that nice crust on it. Oh it boy. And if you guys are thinking like crust, like crusty, musty toenails, nah, this is different. This is a delicious crust. All right. All right, so I think it's about time. Look at that crust. Look at it. 
Oh, so now you're gonna steer the side too, yeah, right? Yeah, because you don't want to eat raw meat on the side. Okay, okay. Let's see how this... Boy, it is getting crazy smoky up in here. I don't know if you can see, but like, I'm behind the smoke, we're behind the smoke. And uh, Kaden is... Look at, look at what Kaden is doing, check him out. I have to finish alarm so it doesn't... Yeah, we, we put Kaden to work because like he's not doing anything. So, Kaden, keep fanning. Look at that, guys. Amazing. Oh boy. How about the other side? Yes. Oh my gosh. Look how much smoke is coming out of here. And personally, for me, I don't really worry about this because the smoke kind of yeah. cooks it for us. So, uh, a revision on the tip. Probably cook this outside. Now we have our butter. It has everything in there. Well, it has butter, garlic, shallots, basil, rosemary, everything. Now, the link... So yeah, you I mean, made this? Yeah, the ingredients will be in the description, but you want to put on low heat, put it in the pan. Okay, okay. What's happening here? I think I know what's going to happen next. I have a feeling you're going to drizzle this onto the steak. Yeah, it's called basting the steak. So it's called what? Basting. Basting the steak. Yeah. Guys, even I learn something new every day. Back on. Okay. It's not gonna sear, it's just making that noise. Okay. Now you just wanna grab your butter. Oh. Be careful because it may sizzle because it's really hot. Oh my gosh. And it makes it look like even if you don't have a good crust, look at the crust now. Look at the crust. Now. Oh my gosh, you're like drizzling the steak. How about this corner right here? I think this corner needs some like loving. Yeah. Right there. Oh. Oh my gosh. Guys, let us know if Devin has a career as a chef in the future. I say from the look of this so far, it looks pretty good. And it smells amazing. And I'm not just saying that because, you know, it's Devin. It truly does smell Guys, amazing. Sometimes. I don't like to baste it too much because when there's too much butter, it's trying to get salty, but that's just me. Okay. Baste it as many times as you want. Okay. But, you can just baste it. And you could already just, right when you put the butter on, that, well, that crush just forms. It's magic, right? Okay. It's magic, guys. Perfect steak. Wow. Top it with anything, but that's how I do my steak. We just finished searing these steaks and look at that crust on all of them. Look at it. Oh my gosh. And there's so much like juiciness. Okay, so just for full disclosure, Kaden and I actually did not do anything to help Devin. Yeah, we just At least for his cooking process, right? This is all Devin and uh, just want to let you guys know that we didn't do anything. This is all Devin's cooking right yep. here. Yeah, so. We didn't even give him advice. No, no, yeah. not at all. So this is the first steak. You don't see it. All Let's right. see what's inside. Let's show, Please do not be. Show everybody what it looks like inside. Is the pressure on? Oh, oh, that's oh. That's rare. I think that's, that's kind of rare. rare. Yeah. I'm gonna try a piece. Okay. You guys could get your own. All right. <clears throat> Let's all try a slice. Well, I accidentally cut it kind of weird. But come, come take a look at this cut. Look at this. Yes. Let's see what it looks like inside. Ooh. Oh, his is wall to wall. Ooh, look at that. Look at the juice. Can you see that? Let me squeeze that juice. Woo! That's juicy. Ooh, oh my gosh. You like my steak? Like you like my steak? Just... Well, I haven't eaten it yet. Or... You think it looks good? Let me see mine. This I want to dip in the butter. Cut. Wait, so, so Kaden, show them what you got. Oh, look Jeez. at your steak. Oh, nice and... That's like a medium, medium rare. You like my steak right? so far? Yep. All right, Devin. so why don't we go in for the taste test, Wait, guys. Dip it in this, right here. The meat sauce. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Wow. Wow. All right, hold it, okay? Hmm? All our ratings on, the, on go, okay? Three, two, one, go. Wabam. wabam. It's a, no, there's no possibility that's not wabam. Uh, objection. <gasps> it's juicy. Okay. All right, my piece is a bit salty. It's a bit salty. That is what I was about to say. Yeah, but you can control the salt. Now, yeah, but 
But this is the final product. This is Devon's steak. Now, obviously, we know um, there are many people out there that are crazy about steak. So to be on, to be playing in the same field as some of these competitive guys that are cooking steak, you gotta be on your A game, okay? So the bar is very, very high. So I think it's very good. I will not give it a wabam because a wabam in the steak world is like a lot. Maybe like Salt Bay or like you know those guys. Like Philly cheesesteak. No, even better than that. What about like think about like um, H Wagyu or like um, you know? H Wagyu like wabam aged Wagyu. And there's like like truly dry aged for like you know. 70 days or something like that, right? 70 days. Challenge, you cut your like... steak like a watermelon. <clears throat> but, 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 I do want to say for the first time cooking steak, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I would give this a 7.5 on the steak scale. You guys, you have to remember, the steak game is a really, really tough have game to play. on the food scale? On the food scale, I'd probably give it an 8. Yeah, me now too. the reason for that is I think Caden said one thing it was a little too salty yeah the trick to having good steak first of all having good meat. good meat good meat and be patient with your cooking because if you give it TLC it's gonna give you TLC back what TLC tender love and care so would you do anything differently, Devin? Next time. Actually, I would actually dry brine it, but yeah, I would not add as much salt, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't season it because mm. next time, yeah, I feel like the pepper, yeah, is really like I really want to taste that beefy flavor, so I'm just not okay. gonna season it. No seasoning, huh? <laughs> all right, so, so maybe just salt, mm -hmm. just and butter and all that stuff. No yeah. butter. No butter even. Okay. So maybe maybe we'll call butter. Maybe paint it over this time. But All right. Well, you guys, you heard it from the little guy. Uh, he's going to be. not uh, season it, or maybe he might be seasoning it differently next time. But for a first time, not too bad. Certainly, room for improvement. Perhaps we should revisit steak cooking again in the future. Let us guy let us know if you guys want to see something like that. And definitely for uh, fans of steak. Share us some of your recipe in the description box below. Remember folks, share, share, share. Yeah, mm -hmm. let us know how you like to eat your steak. Uh, maybe give us some tips on how we should cook uh, steak and maybe Devin might take up on your suggestions. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to see more of this, let us know in the comments below. Give mm -hmm. us a big thumbs up on this video. Uh, share, like, subscribe as usual. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess that's it for this video. Mm -hmm. We will see you on the next one. See ya. We'll see ya.